All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is about politics. Uh, you know, usually I don't really like to talk about politics because it's always dirty. And 99.9999 uh, who work in politics are dirty. Uh, but sometimes you have to because those dirty people who they are involved in politics, they will make you dirty too. So today we will explain some, you know, like uh, uh, how we how we see the news, how we see what's happening around us, what is going to affect you and affect me. Um, if we have a stupid uh, leader, it doesn't matter what country you are a person belong to. Uh, you know, for me, I am an American citizen, and maybe you are from France or from England or from China or from Japan. Doesn't matter really. Having the wrong leader can be a disaster. You know, uh, many people they take uh, take leadership lightly like I mean it's just an election this guy he stayed for four years five years whatever if you are living in a like a, what they call it uh, they call it democratic countries but it is really it's not what you think because what done by Obama eight years ago or let's say two years ago through eight years of his rule ruler or ruling will affect many countries not only USA some some countries because they are so important in the world decisions they make can impact everybody uh, and for sure like depend on how important the country is uh, the rule of this president or this king will be uh, extremely important or less important depend as we said in what and who he is what country he is ruling the reason today I'm talking about this just to explain to you why it's very important for you to care for who is going to be your president having a president which is the right person in the right place or whatever you call him as a leader in your country counselor whatever it's extremely important to the point is going to because because his position involve your security involve your economy involve your future, involve your retirement, and involve your life and death. This is how important it is. Many, many years ago, the liberals took over Europe. And the liberals are socialist people, you know, and they opened their borders for everybody to come. And slowly, slowly, Europe is changing. You know, what people, they talk about a hundred years ago, today it's a fact. Europe is not European countries no more. Europe today is just a continent of others there's no european in europe you know i was just uh, a few weeks ago i was in germany and in france and other european countries like austria uh, etc and i saw with my own eyes i didn't see european in the street i see only immigrants uh, and regardless by the way when i say immigrant doesn't mean what, what their color is i mean an immigrant can be blonde too i mean not necessarily african or middle eastern like me so you walk in Europe, you don't find European, and you find that this this continent is a changing. So a political agenda change nations. Where is Germany now? What is the German in Germany? Where is the French? The French in France? Where is uh, you know the Swedish in Sweden? I mean, if if somebody warned about this. A hundred years ago, they will laugh at him. And actually, until now, they are laughing at you if you tell them this is very stupid. I mean, you are losing your country. And soon you, you will serve, you will be a foreigner in your country. See me myself, I am an immigrant, so I cannot say I am against immigration. But it's very stupid to open your doors to the point the citizen of the country, the original citizen, became minority and the immigrant became majority. That is a madness and this is stupidity. But today we'll talk about something more important. Actually, I mean, it's what we mentioned already very important, but now we are suffering because of the stupidity of leaders before, of opening their borders, everybody coming from everywhere, 
all the religion are welcome you know because supposedly they are open-minded and anyone can open a center for whatever religion he have which is a good idea anyway for people to have their freedom but what about if we have religion teaching terrorism and teaching hate well you are welcome still actually European countries are the best nest for terrorists in the world you see I saw in England terrorist and I say terrorist more than I saw in any country in the world and they are free free I mean they go and make speeches and etc and uh, like lately they start like chasing them and trying to to stop them because after all the killing happened in France and England and etc today there is something new I don't know how many of you is listening to the news the French police raided an Islamic center in France it's called Az Zahra Az Zahra simply is a Shia Islamic center in France and the same center by the way is exist in many in many countries including Canada like if you are in British Columbia you will find if you go to the website of those website of Al Zahra it's the same organization I think and they are sponsored by the Iranian government Hezbollah is a very well-known terrorist organization they kidnapped and killed tons of people civilians including Christian priests and ministers and even you know, nuns and it's not a secret that Hezbollah is willing to do whatever they need to do in order to conquer and they are a lot smarter than Isis you know Isis are a stupid organization yes they are aggressive etc but Hezbollah because they are Shia they practice Taqiyya very well so if you go to the website of Al Zahra, uh, let me see. Here we go. This is their website. If you go to their website, you will see how they practice taqiyya. You know, simply they are people who teach peace, and you know, they will not post on their website anything wrong. I mean, it's a it's a taqiyya website, one hundred percent. All right. But today the, the the police raid their center, and obviously, in this center, according to the to the because this is why they raid it. I mean, why they raided the, the the center? Because of a reason. Uh, they were planning to do an attack in a group of Iranian who they are opposing Hezbollah and opposing, which means they are opposing the regime of the mullahs in Iran. And if you read their website in French, you will see they are posting things which is supposedly nothing wrong there. They are not teaching hate. They are etc. You know, and uh, they look like uh, very much uh, a nice organization. They are not teaching hate or etc. This is this is what Shia is about. Shia, they practice taqiyya as never ever you can believe. They have many faces. So today, when the the uh, the police they arrived in France, they arrived this center. French police ride Muslim Association encounter terror, etc. Al Jazeera TV. This is a Muslim terrorist TV too, and I wonder when the French they are going to ride Al Jazeera because Al Jazeera are number one terrorist. TV station owned by a terrorist prince. He is the prince of Qatar. The question is, France is the best friend to Iran. And I'm not exaggerating when I say the best friend. You see, when I say a friend, Iranian, they don't have a friends as a, as a Shia, as a Muslim, you know, chapter 5, verse 51, chapter 3, verse 28, which is a taqiyya. They don't have a friends, but they use the French people big deal because the French government, they worship money. And Iranian they have money and they are willing to bribe whoever is in the charge to make him work for their agenda so in case you don't remember and this is why I say Europe is the nest of terrorism Al Khomeini he lived for many many years in France under the protection of the secret police in France he have residency free place to stay salary free health insurance and even guards which we can say the French government 
is the one who made Iran today an Islamic state. Do you believe it or not? The French government, who they are supposedly a freedom country, they invite a mullah like Al Khomeini, who teach terrorism, who teach child molestation, who teach that the kuffar should be killed, and they give him refuge, and they give him salary, and they give him asylum, and the Shah, the king of Iran, he cannot get him, which means France is protecting him. So France, because this is why I'm saying, when you have a stupid leader, that leader can change history. A stupid decision by a stupid president of France at that time was able to change the history of the Middle East for many, many, many years. Until now, the Iranian, they are taken over maybe for more than 30, 40 years. So for how long they will be there, we don't know. But it was a stupid decision of the French politician who did not deliver Al Khomeini to the king of Shah, the, 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 the king of Iran at that time, and the result is the king is gone, the Shah is the king, and now we have an Islamic terrorist group. It's called the Islamic Republic of Iran. And the same they do with everything. If you go right now to England, you will see Abu Qutada, all the names, all those names you see there, Abu 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 Abu. Go and, and check how many Abu in London. All those Abu are wanted in their countries. They are literally wanted. Some are wanted in Jordan, some are wanted in Saudi Arabia, some wanted in Syria, some wanted. All the wanted ones are in Europe. They are criminals, they are terrorists, and they teach terrorism loud and clear in the street in front of your eyes. And the stupid European, they host the snakes and they give them money, give them salary, and they give them safe heaven. And that's why we say it's very extremely important to choose your president wisely. What you have right now in Europe are a bunch of donkeys. Now, European leaders are a bunch of donkeys. I'm sorry to, I don't want to offend you if you are European, but I have to say things as it is. But don't worry, in America, we don't have better. We have a bunch of donkeys too. I mean, the whole West is full of donkeys. Senators. You know, Senator John McCain, he went to Syria and he took pictures, selfie, with the terrorists of Syria. Hmm. Supposedly, he is a person who is uh, doing a charity work. He is a supporting freedom, but those are terrorists. When they asked John McCain, those terrorists you took pictures with, they say, Allahu Akbar. He said, Allahu Akbar means God is a great. Suddenly, John McCain, he is a person who explained Islam to you and he knows what Allah Akbar means. Allah Akbar mean God is a great. That's it. I mean, don't you agree? God is great. <laughs> so you have a donkey as a senator. Then you have a donkey as a president. Then you have a donkey as government. Then you have a donkey as a prime minister. Then you have a donkeys everywhere. And then you have terrorists everywhere. Obama came to the office. ISIS flourish. Right? Because you put a donkey in the White House. As simple as that. And not only that, the donkey in the White House, he was funding them and he was encouraging, the CIA was encouraging Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, Saudi Arabia to flood money into Syria, supposedly to change the regime of the Assad. Stupidity versus donkey, which means in, in both sides of the stories, you find either a donkey or a stupid person, but at the end of the day, both of them, they are donkeys. Today, the French, the French government, by riding those centers, uh, uh, or let's say the French police, and then the French government, they decide to uh, to put hold in the money of the Iranian intelligence in France. Okay, hold on, hold on. You are saying to me that you know that the Iranian intelligence, they have money and property in France. And until now, you're not doing it. Is that allowed? Is that allowed for a foreign agency to own anything in your country? How stupid that is. Because don't tell me you put hold on it and you do not know about it yet. I mean, obviously, you know for a long time. So how do they have this money here? 
how the Iranian intelligent they have apartments and buildings and etc and money and banks how they can do that because the police they cannot do anything about it unless there is a political order you see police are at the end of the day they cannot do anything unless the the donkey who is in the office he make an order to arrest and look what they did they put hold in the money of the government of Iran only for the intelligence. What about the government of Iran? As of the as of the intelligence of Iran have nothing to do with the government of Iran. So now we blame the intelligence of Iran for the terrorism, but we don't blame the government of Iran. How stupid that is! Is it the intelligence? When talking about the intelligence, we're talking about secret service, etc. You know, this is the secret police of Iran. So this organization is not only a government or organization this is the core of the iranian government the whole country run under the command of this agency so what we do we don't say loud and clear iran is doing that is a terrorist country we say no the intelligent department of iran so we put hold in their money what about the iranian embassy when you are going to close it why don't kick them out how come you want to put sanctions on the Russian and you want to put sanctions everybody for 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 a Twitter? They accuse the Russian that they they made a Trump win the election in Twitter. You know, so okay, we put sanctions. We put sanctions about Al Qarim in, in between U Ukraine and Russia. But something happened inside our country. Nobody put sanctions in Iran. Why? Because France is the biggest oil dealer with Iran. They made billions and trillions of dollars from Iran. But look what happened the donkeys of iran because not only in france there is donkeys there is donkeys in iran the donkeys of iran's who they are preparing themselves for the sanctions of trump because of trump he decided to stop the agreement between the donkey obama and the smart iranian because at that that agreement was for the benefit of the iranian 100 percent so the donkey Obama who signed that agreement with the Iranian Trump he came he deleted that agreement and today or tomorrow I think the sanctions will start on Iran and the money is going to collapse the currency of Iran is collapsing because of the sanctions because if you if America puts sanctions on Iran who is going to buy using the currency of Iran nobody you know that's it you cannot buy from them you cannot sell from them and European Union was trying to protect the Iranian market why because they make a lot of money from Iran trying to oppose Trump in his sanctions but today what happened it was a very stupid decision from the Iranian the Iranian who knew that the sanctions is coming from America and at the end of the day America is going to force everybody to respect the sanctions they like it or not the Iranian government today they found themselves in big trouble because the only friend or let us say the most close friend to them in the European Union which is a France today is in a very very unfortunate position and they cannot protect Iran no more by riding their places today they cannot say Iran or they can say Trump is wrong about Iran maybe you do not know why they are riding those places today the Iranian government they are planning actually they plan to do something but they were not successful to do it to kill as many as they can in France from those who oppose their regime who oppose Hezbollah of Iran so they were going to assassinate many 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 people inside France so now France because of this they have no choice but to start arrest and to ride that center but look what happened and this is why I say the Iranian they were smart for maybe some time, but today they look like they are being donkeys. By making a, such a decision to assassinate people who live inside of France, and by what happened today that the, the French they were able to discover it and they start riding all over, the Iranian government are going to face a very bad time. In the coming week actually starting from today Iranian right away after they heard the news that the French they start riding their Islamic centers in Europe in, in France 
and they are accusing Iran of terrorism act right away they start selling their currency and exchanging it with dollar and the currency of Iran today is dead if we go in the news let's see if we can find today news about the currency of Iran um, let us see uh, let us see if we search for today past 24 hours I'm sure you will hear in the news very soon how fast the currency of Iran is going to collapse. You know? Actually, here we go. It says here too. Everybody start now. Everybody knows that the friend which they have and the only one they hope they can exchange currency with or goods or even buying and selling oil, their biggest friend, uh, the French donkey, cannot hold his friendship for long no more because now the president of france he is facing a very bad time to defend iran anymore he cannot make any excuse i mean those people they are planning and they they tried actually to assassinate and actually they killed in the in the past they killed many of those who oppose iran inside of france and the french government they could not supposedly discover who is the one behind those things many of those who oppose the iranian government in france were killed and assassinated what happened today is a disaster for Iran. The, the currency is going to collapse. The, the, uh, uh, the sanctions of Trump is going to be enforced in Europe. They like it or not. Now Trump, he have more excuse to force his sanctions. Says to them, you see, I told you they are terrorists. I told you they are funding terrorists. I told you they are, they are criminals. And you, you keep protecting them and taking side with them against me. And today we discovered that Trump, he was right. So this is the first donkey situation we are going to talk about. Let us go to the second donkey. I don't know if you like my stories about donkeys, but let us continue. And by the way, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the, the, the arrest is expanding, not only in France, it's going to go to Denmark, Belgium, and many other countries. Uh, they are in connection with the Iranian Shia center in France, as you see. This is France 24. Even in 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 uh, in other other places, there is there is more places are going to be uh, facing riots and uh, uh, you know more arrests will be done and I'm sure the group or the number of those people that are arrested is going to increase. Now we will go to another donkey and I'm sure some of you will not like what I'm saying. The other donkey in this case is the president, the prime minister of Israel, the prime minister of Israel. <clears throat> Let us see what happened with the Prime Minister of Israel. Hmm. All of you, you learned or you heard that the Prime Minister of Israel, he supposedly being aggressive in Syria and he hit from time to time Iranian or Hezbollah target. But this guy is a stupid and really, really, is really a donkey. You know, some of them, because they are spoiled so they act like a spoiled kid you know when you have a spoiled kid you give him a sandwich he threw it in the ground you ask him to do something he do the opposite you know because you spoiled him that's it he is spoiled he is out of order he's out of control and he's stupid you know he don't do things for a reason nobody understand the reason so we know that iran hate israel we know that hezbollah is the enemy of Israel. we know we know we know but you have always to keep your limit and keep yourself from being stupid. In Syria, there is an army. It's called the Russian army. You want to fight with the Iranian? Fight. You want to fight with Hezbollah? Fight. You want to fight with the Syrian army? Fight. But don't play. Don't even get close to the Russian army, you idiot. So the stupid Netanyahu, he made already many mistakes, but the last mistakes was a disaster. The Israeli, they made an attack 
close to the city of Latakia in Syria, and they did not warn the Russian, which means they are just this is alone is an insult, you know, when you are the one who controlled the country and you make a ride anytime you want, and you don't even tell the Russian, you are just insulting them. And not only that, they make the ride, and that ride supposedly to, to attack Hezbollah and the Iranian forces in Syria. Because of that attack, a Russian fighter jet or carrier have, I think, 14 people inside it were killed. And that was a very stupid mistake from the donkey Netanyahu. And by the way, many, many of you may be like Netanyahu. For me, I believe he is a thief, he is a corrupt, he is an idiot, and he will end in jail. Just count, count on my words. You will see. He is he is a criminal, he is a corrupt. Everything about you know, actually, Israel is infected with corruption like Islam. Sadly, what we can say. All the, the previous president of Israel, they are the end in jail. And this is the only thing making me have a hope that Israel is going to be better. Why? Because as long they can get them and put them in jail, it means the country is not really totally corrupt. There is a corrupt politician, and the police always get them in the place where they deserve. That is a very, very healthy thing. So as long as the police they investigate a person, he is a prime minister, that's a healthy thing because that's mean there's nobody above the law, which is good for Israel. However, I believe strongly that Netanyahu is a corrupt man and he is a thief and he's a criminal. But look what this idiot or this donkey he did by causing the airplane of the Russian to be destroyed. And, you know, the Israeli, they said, no, it's the Syrian who shot the missile. Yeah, I shot the missile because and, and, the, and the Israeli uh, uh, Israeli airplane hide behind the Russian carrier, which means you are the one who made the Russian carrier destroyed. The missile is coming to your airplane, and what do you do? You hide behind the Russian carrier. So the Russian carrier destroyed. Putin, he received the news. Do you think someone like Putin is going to let it go? No. The news came today that the Russian delivered, fully delivered, all the missiles which they promised. And, you know, the, the, the Netanyahu is, was fighting for long to stop this deal from happening. They deliver to Syria the S-300 missiles, which is extremely powerful. What you get from this attack? You killed a few uh, Iranian soldiers? Okay, here we go. Look what happened. The Syrian now, they have a 300, S-300. You can go and read and you can watch videos on YouTube about this, those missiles, which is extremely powerful. Even if the Israeli, they can avoid their, their missiles because, uh, uh, let's say, uh, missiles because they have a high technology or etc., which I adopted really, because uh, before they have the 300, the Israeli were struggling to go and hit and come back safe. And this is why the Russian airplane came down. What about now? And I believe strongly that Putin, he announced that he is going to deliver to Syria the 300, and he did his promise, but I don't think the one next time is going to shoot at Israeli airplane is going to be the Syrian. I believe strongly that the one who is going to shoot is going to be the Russian army as a revenge for the destruction of their airplane. Putin is very smart, extremely smart. You see, after all the donkeys we spoke about in the world, the Russian, they have the most top smart man ever you can have as a president. Actually, I, I wish, I wish we have someone like Putin in the White House because he is a billion times better than Trump and a trillion times better than Obama and etc. What will happen now? The Russian, the reason they said we delivered the 300 to the Syrian government is not really because they want the Syrian government to shoot down an Israeli airplane. No. They want to say, we gave them weapon who can take your airplanes. So next time the Israeli airplane, they will fly over Syria. The Russian themselves, they will take it down as revenge to teach the Israeli how not to be donkeys again. But yet they will claim that the one who took it down, it was the Syrian army because we give them the weapon. And now Israeli army cannot fly over Syria. Unless this Netanyahu 
decide to be a donkey again and I am sure that Putin is waiting for opportunity to teach Israel how to kill 14 of his soldiers and destroy an airplane worth hundreds of millions of dollars and without even apology and this is why I say it's extremely important not to have a donkey as a leader because a donkey leader can destroy your nation can take you to a war you are not capable of who can who dare to fight Russia you see America was going to vote for a woman her name is Hillary Clinton Hillary Clinton she keep talking I want to fight Russia I want to go in war with Russia imagine if this happened America will become shish kebab nobody can win with Russia nobody can win with it who is going to fight the Russian you know you see they, they say the American they are the super power the, the most powerful country I believe strongly that number one powerful country in this earth is the Russian it's not the American even when it's come to money maybe we have more cash but they have more treasure we they have more land they have more strategic resource they have the gas they have the oil they have the wood they have the food they have everything they have the, the and they have borders with us you know actually Alaska it used to be their land so Russia is an extremely powerful country and nobody should ever dare to play with it but yet the stupid Western they keep threatening actually just yesterday I heard uh, uh, an American politician speaking about attacking Russia I mean what what's wrong with those people what we're attacking Russia are you crazy are you mental are, what's wrong with you do you think do you think Russia is Saddam Hussein those American they go eat McDonald and they think the whole world eat McDonald they watch Oprah and they think Oprah is the library of Wikipedia Did she know everything The American they get their wisdom from dr. Phil who teach them how to avoid divorce but the guy himself is divorced what's wrong with you and why you want to fight the Russian why you do not go with them I mean why you why you want to fight with them you say that they have interest will you how you know if we ask the French how many islands in the Pacific you own what about the bridge uh, the Falkland Islands, which is not yours. How come you have a right to attack a foreign army, taking a land from them, and it's okay for you, but the Russian, they cannot take Crimea or Crimea, whatever they call it. You see that double standard? Don't we have in America Guantanamo Bay, which is not our land anyway? I mean, Guantanamo Bay have nothing to do with America. Since when it's American? So we can do everything. We can take the land of anyone, but they cannot do the same. And suddenly there are people who have no honor and they are the people who have honor look what they are doing with ukraine the stupid ukrainian they are the one who brought it to themselves you see when the ukrainian they listen to the stupid obama and before obama the stupid george bush when the georgian they listen to the stupid american always they betray you you see the Georgian they told them oh, go in war with Russia we will be behind you the, the Russian army attacked the Georgia and all the American they went to sleep right away they disappear and the Georgian look where is our friends where is the NATO you promised us nobody will fight Russia are you kidding me this is exactly what happened with the stupid people in Ukraine they trusted the Western and look what happened look what happened this is what happened with the stupid people in, 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 in Kurdistan, the Kurdish. Sadly, I have to say the word stupid, they trusted the American. When the Turkish attacked them, the American, they were watching. That's it. That's your destiny. What happened to the our friend and etc. And we give them arms and we give them weapon and etc. And blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly when the Turkish came, Bye bye. Nice to meet. We don't. Do we know you? Right. Anything will happen in this country. They will blame the Russian. It's the same mentality. This is the 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 the, the, the liberals. They have the same mentality of the Muslims. Anything happened to them, they blame the Jews. Today, if somebody fought anywhere, they say the Russian did. 
a guy was uh, poisoned they tried to kill him they accused the Russian that they are behind killing him let us say this is true I mean isn't it normal how many how many the CIA they assassinate for anyone who is against the country do you guys remember the Al-Wakili anyone remember Al-Wakili Imam Al-Wakili who went to Somalia and joined terrorist groups isn't it us the American who killed him and he is an American citizen he is an American citizen so how come we can go and assassinate and the Russian they cannot go and assassinate someone who betrayed them do you understand the double standard anybody is listening to me to the double standard I'm talking about how come we can do that we can assassinate anyone who betrayed the country but the Russian they cannot do that this is hypocrisy stupidity and real and now they are saying the guy who himself was poisoned but he did not die he himself is saying that the accusation against Russia it was a lie the one who tried to kill him is someone somewhere else so all of this it was fake false accusation against Russia just to find a way to 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 cause problems with the Russian because they want to take your attention from local problems happening inside the country in USA they don't want to admit and agree that Trump he won so we have to blame somebody I mean we have to either agree that the American decide not to vote for Hillary because they are sick of the liberal so we cannot admit that so what we will do we have to find a reason we have to find somebody who is the one okay the Russian but Obama is the one who sold all the uranium we have in a storage to the Russian nobody accused him of anything which one is more important they accused you know, the Russian they made me vote for Trump how that's stupid by posting in Twitter and Facebook what post what post a speech of Hillary Clinton hacking her email well thank you very much for hacking her email at least we expose her they helped me to see who, how corrupt she is this did not make me vote for her for uh, Trump people are sick of the liberals they are sick of their mentality they are sick of their decision they are sick of their hypocrisy everything about liberals is sick They, they are people who have no mind. They, 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 I don't want to look, say they lost their mind. They don't have one. Few years ago, California almost faced bankruptcy. How, how California is going to face, you know, face bankruptcy? It has the biggest companies in the world, which means they collect a lot of tax. Google, Yahoo, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube. I mean, all those things in California. And then you go bankruptcy? Yeah, because everybody is welcome welfare people cross the border from everywhere and then they apply for welfare you and your kids and your wife and etc for free school for free medication for free uh, uh, rent for free apartment for free i mean that's it for free and this is what trump is saying this the, the, those are stupid in california they are going to bring one billion not one million every year into california and california is going to go bankrupt they lost their mind Their weapons are old. My friend, the old weapon of Russia is enough to destroy America. You have no idea what they have. There's a book, it's called War and Intelligence. I advise you to go and get it. You will be terrified. You have no idea what the Russian have. We are behind the Russian. Don't you know that we are the one who are renting their machines? We are renting their engines to go to the space, which means Americans are not going to the space. It is the Russian going to the space. And you are telling me how when, when the last time they did the 200 jet fighter, what those 200 will do? One missile of the Russian can take them all down. Go and read, go educate yourself. The Russian, they have a system, even if you nuke all their land, even if all the Russian get killed, their missiles will launch by itself after when the radiation reach certain point everything will burn the whole earth will burn what are you talking about
people are not buying American weapon no more people are buying Russian weapon don't you see the Turkish they are buying the s400 why they are buying this 400 because there's nothing like it the Chinese buying from them the Israeli buying from them the Saudi Arabia Kuwait everybody buying from the Russian the Russian weapon industry is one of the biggest in the world right now why because their weapon is garbage no we have to be smart first of all why we should be enemy to the Russian give me a reason until now you watch the CNN and watch Fox News they talk about Russian as if they are communist what communist a price of an apartment in Moscow is a million dollar apartment where is the communism until now they speak about Russia as a communist the, the Russian billionaires are the number one in the world until now in America they think that the Russian are communist and they think the Russian are poor you are the poor you are the poor go anywhere there is tourism and see how many Russian are going in a tour and see how many American they can afford it do you guys understand what I'm saying we think that we are the rich and they are the poor they are not the poor Russian billionaires they are involved in the biggest industry in Europe They are scary actually but always they lie to you and they fool you they want you to believe that the Russian are communist and look they are playing the same dirty game they made they poisoned the mind of the Ukrainian and now the Ukrainian they are using their their fate look at Ukraine bankrupt when you were a friend to the Russian what, what is the American why the American don't support the Ukraine what is the European Union? So you promise Ukrainian to go and etc. and have war with Russia and, you, and the country is destroyed and now you leave them alone? Ukraine is bankrupt. And they are doing the same with other countries. Anyone who trusts European government is a fool. And I'm talking about Western European government. This is what they did with Romania. Now Romania became part of the NATO. What, what the benefit of Romania from the NATO? Nothing. What, what, Ro Romania became rich? No. Poor. Poor. Still poor. They made them join the Uni European Union. Do you know what happened now? There is no young people in Euro Romania. There's nobody. The whole, everybody left the country. The country destroyed. They made the Polish people now to be the enemy of the Russian. Get ready. You are next. Why? What is the benefit? Why the Polish people, they want to be enemy for Russia? Is that for your benefit? If something happened, they will leave you alone to face the Russian. If something happened, you are the one who put yourself in such a, such a place. They will do exactly what happened with Ukraine. Exactly what happened with the Kurdish. Exactly what happened with Georgia. And if you ask yourself, why even the European Union and the NATO, they always support the wrong party? As an example, the war in Syria. You see, I am against Iran. I am against the regime of the Assad. But how in the world you support terrorists against someone? He is a secular. Whatever you want to say about the Assad, he's a dictator, he is a criminal, he is a killer. He is, but all our friends in the Middle East are the same. Is the king of Saudi Arabia is a dictator or not? Is the prince of Emirat is a, like a, he's a heaven person? What about the, the, the king of Qatar? What about all of them? All your friends in the Middle East are dictators. Why only this one? We need to take him off. You will notice that there was a plan to take all the secular presidents from the Middle East and replace them with terrorists. Literally terrorist. I'm talking a Muslim Sunni terrorist. You see, Saddam Hussein is a criminal, war a criminal, 
killer he even used chemical against his people American took him execute him replace him with the mullahs of Iran and now Iraq is controlled 100% by the mullahs of the Shia 100% you cannot walk in the street today in Iraq without being afraid being kidnapped or being killed just two days ago or three days ago they they, they assassinate a, a christian girl who was supposedly like the assistant of the beauty queen she, she's very beautiful they want to rape her i think so they try to kidnap her she resists she did not let them get, get her so they shot her and they get in their cars kidnapping a raping and killing and asking for ransom is everyday action in iraq today so we took saddam hussein who was a secular we replaced Saddam Hussein with the mullahs wonderful we made a war in Syria sponsoring the Mujahideen the purpose is to take Assad but the Assad women they can swim with their bikini if they want people they can drink if they want people they can go party if they want a, a Christian they go to their churches Muslim they go to their mosque everybody when it's come to religious freedom people have religious freedom why you want to replace him and if you want to replace him, replace him with something better. Why you want to replace him with Al Qaeda? They say to us day and night, we are fighting Al Qaeda. You know, look at this uh, the, uh, just to give you an example of the stupidity and the hypocrisy of the West. Israel is bombing Hamas in Gaza. Israel is aiding Hamas in Syria. I mean, how can you believe it? How we bomb them in Gaza and we give them weapon in Syria? Hamas is the Muslim Brotherhood. So they are our enemy in Gaza and they are our friends in Syria. And many of you believe the lie that Western countries are fighting terrorists. They are not fighting terrorists, they sponsor them. Because war is a big industry. How much money the Saudi and the Kuwaiti and the Emirati and Bahrain and etc. they spent to buy an emission and missiles and bombs to send to Syria. If the war is stopped in Syria, who is going to buy? Nobody. War is, necessary, is very necessarily for the business. All the weapon for this war is coming, most of it from Europe and going through Turkey, our friend, the, the big terrorist Erdogan. It's not just about making a war just for fun it's about money they lie to you and they say we are fighting terrorists show me where when when, when the last time you see the Assad regime they try to attack the city of Idlib in north of Syria which is the center of Al-Qaeda in the world today American French you, you know the, the, the English everybody the European Union they gather together and they warn the Assad if they attack they will attack him back why I mean you tell me why the excuse if he attack millions of people will die what millions I mean can you are you are you who you are fooling who how millions will people would die how is that like how many millions of Syrian they died through the, during this war until now so only in attacking the city of Idlib millions will die the whole war in Syria did not kill millions and now this city will cause the death of millions why because now if the Assad control over this territory Erdogan and the West they lost their authority in Syria so now suddenly they became the people who will protect the civilian but the fact they are protecting Al-Qaeda if Al Qaeda is destroyed, if ISIS is destroyed in Syria, what the American will say? How we can? What is the reason to stay in Syria? There is no reason. Russia took all Syria now. That's it. They don't want to admit the fact that Putin was the smartest. He took the right side and he fought. He fought the real fight. He is the one really who destroyed the terrorists in Syria. It's not the American. It's not the French. It's not the the British. It is a lie. It was the Russian and the Russian alone. It's not Iran, it's not the Syrian army, it is no one. It was the Russian alone. I've been told by somebody who have a very, very, you know, like a, a, a accurate information 
about what happened when Al-Qaeda attacked the Christian territory in Damascus in Syria. They told me that all the Syrian and the Hezbollah and all the Iranian army, they flee. They run. They run, they run, literally run. And Al-Qaeda were taking street after street like nothing, as if it's empty. The only one was fighting is the local, which is the Christians in that area. And then, in less than two hours, the Russian they deported or deployed hundreds of fighters, few hundreds, maybe 300, 400, we don't know. And the whole fight changed. The Russian are the one who stopped them, and then they destroyed them. Which means, if not the Russian, even, even Damascus by now is going to be by the hand of Al-Qaeda. The Russian is the one who changed the face of the war in Syria. When Trump, he won the election, I was hoping that Trump, he will be able to be friend with the Russian. And I think he was trying to do so. But the filthy Democrat, they will not let him do so. So they start with the accusation that he was sponsored by the Russian. So the guy now he have to prove that he is not really made, became a president by the Russian. So he start putting sanctions after sanctions on the Russian. And things are getting worse and more ugly. Hoping, because he's stupid too. Hoping that by doing those sanctions, the, the, the Democrats will leave him alone. They will not leave you alone. Even if you execute Putin himself, you, they, will, they will still accuse you that he is the one who made you president. Trump is being stupid. He should be friend with the Russian for the benefit of America and the benefit of the Russian. What's wrong if we both together, we fight the terrorism in the world? Two support powerful nations. What if we both have an agreement that we give access to each other to, to, to trace terrorists, to share information about terrorists? Who is going to be hurt by that? George Soros. Businessmen like George Soros, they are afraid of some, someone like Putin because Putin will make George Soros bankrupt. The same he did for many billionaires who tried to take over Russia, make it for sale. You see, the Russian, they were the most beloved people to the West in the time of Yeltsin. Anyone remember Yeltsin? Anyone remember Yeltsin? Yeltsin, he was a potato, you know, like a balloon, like the one you put in the Christmas time outside for a deer. He's a balloon. The American, they love Russia at that time. Russia was collapsing, people dying from hunger. There's no jobs, women, Russian women for sale, for sale, literally for sale, literally, literally not, I'm not talking metaphorically, literally for sale. You go and you get Russian bride, imagine what happened to Russia because of Yeltsin. Such a country, how that can happen? Because you have a stupid leader. That's why I'm saying have it, having a leader can change the country. What a difference between Russia in the time of Yeltsin and Russia in the time of Putin. We cannot even compare. But Russia is the same Russia. What happened? Why Putin, he made Russia the most respected, powerful, scary country in this earth, when in the time of Yeltsin, everybody take a hike on Russia. Russian women became the joke of everybody. They lost their honor, sadly. The stupid Yeltsin, he believed the Western, that we will help you, we will sponsor you. Yay, the Soviet Union collapsed. They, they, will, they will want Russia to collapse. They want Russia to, be, to, to become republics, small republics. So it will disappear forever. And then we have Putin, and Putin changed everything. And Russia, back to its glory. And everybody's upset. And this guy is you, you cannot you cannot take him down. I spoke to many Russians in, the, in my last trip last year. I could not find one of them. He don't even worship this man. We need to understand that always choosing the right leader for your country. It doesn't matter who you are. Is it going to affect you? You know, when Obama, he signed a deal with China. He signed a deal with Mexico. He signed a deal with, with Canada. 
those countries involved in a deal of trade and then we discovered that this deal was not for the benefit of USA at all it was a disaster when the American they sign with the Chinese that we borrow money from you and you said to yourself oh our government is borrowing money not me no it's you who borrow the money <laughs> the president he is going the president he will have a salary for the rest of his life he will have health insurance for the rest of his life he will have a bodyguard from your pocket and whatever he signed upon to borrow money from china it's you who will pay for it it's you not him i just saw an article of obama many it says that many leaders around the world they paid or famous businessmen they paid an average of five hundred thousand dollars just to take a picture with obama imagine this guy he sell the picture you want to take a selfie with me five hundred thousand you send the check to obama office obama welcome you in the office and he take a selfie with you they don't care when they sign they borrow money they borrow it in your name he himself will not die and he will never suffer hunger he himself will not suffer from paying his tax all their money is abroad in swiss banks someone like trump as an example you see i voted for trump and i like him a lot more than all the previous presidents but i believe he's still donkey like the rest of them but he's let us say we have donkey we have a mule we have a horse let us say trump is a horse but all of them they are from the same family watch the news i mean disgusting a judge for the supreme court look like all the women in the world they will accuse him that he raped them I will not be surprised if Aisha she accusing that he touched her ass. Those Democrats, they lost their mind. They will do anything to take this man down. Trump, the second day he became a president, everybody started crying, making lies. And then we have a prostitute or a porno star saying, Trump, he stepped with her. Okay. Let us say this is true. So suddenly all the Democrats became the version of Muhammad. They never had sex, they never drink beer in high school, they never have party, they never get naked, they never have a, a girlfriend sleeping around. No, they are perfect people. Go, go, my friend, go to California. Go to the center of the liberals and see what they do. First time I arrived to USA, because, you know, I don't, I have a TV, but I don't have cable. So like this is antenna thing. I open a channel. And the channel was teaching a woman she was teaching how to make the anus of your partner wider i was listening like maybe my english is not right maybe uh, what she's saying in a public government tv they are teaching our kids how to make the anus of your partner wider The same people who teach that in a public TV in California is the same ones accusing this guy that he was doing this and that. Suddenly they became people of honor. Isn't it crazy? You see the hypocrisy of those liberals? You see, when I came, when I came to the state because I'm an immigrant, so the, the, the Arab Middle Eastern like me, they said to me, you should join Democrat. I said, why? He said, because always they support us. I said, ah, okay. And then I noticed they are right. They support us. They don't support America. You know what? I said to them, I'm not going to join this Democrat. They are like rats. Those people don't love America. They support you for a reason. Because you don't believe you are American. I came to this country. I want to be an American citizen. I love this country. What's wrong with this country? This country gave me a, gave me everything I want. If not America, I will not be able to speak right now. Every single Middle Eastern come to you and say he is a Democrat. But not me. Because I noticed that those people, they don't love America. They support the immigrant just to earn their their voices, their vote. They don't care 
how they can get the vote they don't care all what they care we need to win the election last time last year when i went to, to vote the, the the lady there she asked she said to me you have an accent where are you from i said i am originally from the middle east she said strange all middle eastern they are democrat i said because they are stupid i am not <laughs> she was so upset because she is democrat you know i said because they are stupid i'm not We have to be careful and we have to choose the right leaders for our country other otherwise your country will be destroyed doesn't matter what country you are belong to you are a german you are uh, from europe you are from china you are from it doesn't matter if you have a stupid leader your country will be screwed don't think it's a business none of your business it is your business it is very much your business your retirement might destroy it because of a president he signed an agreement today. When I was in Asia, some Asian they were so happy, and they told me uh, today uh, they made an agreement to run a train, a fast speed train between China and uh, all the countries of Asia like thailand and uh, cambodia etc and those naive asian they were happy for that they thought this would be good i said you know that, that's a disaster they said why this is well you know fast speed i said the chinese will teach you will eat you alive just wait they sign an agreement with the chinese that now we can we do not need visa you know free entry I mean, who is the one? Who is the one going to be the winner? Is the Thai is is the Thai people will go to China? No. Is the Com Cambodian people will go to China? No. Who is going to come to your country? The Chinese, and they have a lot of money. They will start building their casinos. They will start opening their businesses, eating you alive, and you will find yourself minority in your country. People are naive. People get excited because they are naive. We sign a deal agreement with this country and that country. Here we go. Obama he signed an agreement with the with the with the Iranian, and he gave them more than a hundred billion dollar, right cash, and he gave them a chance to survive. Almost they were collapsing. Stupid leader. And as you see, I don't take a side of anyone. I say, or if somebody I believe is a donkey, I say he's a donkey. I don't care if it's a, a person, even I vote for him. In this coming uh, month, we have election in USA. And I hope the American, they will be smarter than they used to. I mean, because always, Americans are very emotional. Very emotional people, you know, you can change their mind by, by a TV ad. They have a lack of education about their history and other people's history. They don't know what other nations they think and what they think about or how they think. Everything is based on Fox News, CNN. When Obama was the president, Fox News every day asked Obama when he is going to stand up for the Russian. Do you remember? Who remember? Who remember? The yeah, Kosovo conflict is not a conflict. This is the crime of Bill Clinton. Is this, this is what I said. Having a stupid president can destroy even other nations. Here we go, the Serbian country been destroyed by a filthy man his name is billy clinton who was having sex in the office over the the, ta the table of the president who took a false oath to keep the american busy from his scandals he launched a, a, a war killing tens of thousands of S serbian christian people just because he want to cover his penis this is the truth they go for a war just to cover scandals to take the attention from what's happening to you know 
when when Obama was in the office, Fox News every day asking Obama, when you when our president is going to stand against the Russian? Okay, what what the Fox News want? Do you want do we already want Obama to go in war with the Russian? When we will have a president, he have the balls to make a threat, and <laughs> and then they bring you this bloating, the one who became a a, a, a counselor for the for Trump. Now this guy's an idiot, by the way, very dangerous. And this guy, he go, if that if uh, President Obama was a real man, he should right now hit and strike the Russian. What this guy is talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Do you want to cause Third War Three? <laughs> they knew that Obama would not do it, and they knew nobody would do that. All of it is just an agenda. They want Obama to look bad. Now, look what happened. Trump, he tried to be friendly to the Russian. Fox News never said to Trump, why you don't attack the Russian? How come in the time of Obama, they want him to attack the Russian? And now Fox News don't want him to attack the Russian. What happened? The Russian changed. At that time, they were on him enemies, and now they are friends. Hypocrites. All is the same garbage. So don't listen to your news from Fox News. Don't listen to your news from CNN. All of them, they lie. All of them, they have agenda. Everybody pay for the one who's talking and the one who's talking the second you give him a a, a a check he changed the words the first job i got when i was in the in the law school it was in arabic newspaper to check the grammar and the arabic before they print the newspaper i go very very late at night we i spend all all the way until the morning until they start printing for almost three months every every day the newspaper attacking al qazafi al qazafi he is a dictator. He have many girlfriends. He sleep around. Blah blah blah. I mean, they humiliated the guy. Regardless if the stories are true or not. One day, because I have to read the whole newspaper, you know, me and like we have like a group, you know, we are we, uh, we divide the articles to read them, to finish them, to check the grammar, to check everything. Because in Arabic, by the way, if you make a mistake by a dot, a war can happen. Literally, a war can happen because the meaning can change and can be a very big deal. So anyway, one day suddenly, the article changed. Al Qazafi became the most amazing president. He is the one who built Libya. Libya is a heaven. Article about his amazing book, which is almost equal to the Quran. It's called the Green Book. An article about the book. It's called the, the whatever. I mean. So what happened to this guy? I mean, yesterday he was the devil. Yesterday, today he's an angel. So I went to the to the editor and said to him, "He's a, he's our boss." I said, "Sir, this is there is something wrong here." He said, "What?" He said, "What happened? I mean, we are attacking this guy. Maybe those articles are not. I mean, somebody put them in here." He said, "No, no, no. This is correct. It's signed by me. It's okay." So, so what happened? He said, uh, "Let it go. Let it. You know." And then at the end, he told me. Well, you know, they send us a check. The embassy of Libya, they send a check to the newspaper. That's it. They humiliate a person until he pay them. The second you pay us, they go and buy somebody else. So don't take your news from a news agency because the news agencies are not meant to give you news. They give you a title. Like now, I might say something in this video, and then a, 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 a democratic agency will take from what I said something, and they will make a title of it to make you believe that this is what I meant. Yes, I said that, but there is a context of the thing. No, they will make it, and you know, by changing the title, they can change what is behind the news. They, they give you right away, the, the the they direct you to believe in something as an example let us say i'm driving a car and i hit a dog and then they announce in the news that an arabian middle eastern he killed an american dog but this is not what happened i did not really kill him i was driving my car and he ran in front of me but by making a title like that they will say this guy obviously he's a terrorist they lead you to an idea to believe in it from the title. The news behind is not important. It is the title which is important.
and this is what happened in as an example in Kosovo. Kosovo is the heart of Serbia. It's not a city in Serbia. The first king of the Serbian people is from Kosovo. Kosovo is a very important territory. It is the heart of the Serbian people. The filthy Billy Clinton and all the gangs who they are getting paid from the Saudi at that time, they made it the opposite. They made the Serbian are a bunch of criminals who they are killing women and men. And yes, there's a crime that was happening, but both are killing each other. And they took a side and they sided with the Muslims. And look what happened to Europe. God is punishing you. God is punishing you for siding against the Serbian. After a few years from USA standing with the terrorist army of Kosovo, the Muslim army, the Muslim, they return the favor to us by 9-11. Just a few years ago, we took side with you and we killed a lot of Serbian there. To show appreciation, they attack you and they killed more than 3,000 Americans in five minutes. Why you take the why you take the side of the and and after the American decide them, do you know what happened? Go and watch the videos on YouTube. Muslims start riding churches, burning them, breaking the crosses, humiliating the Christians, raping Christian women, all of this under the eyes of the American. The same as what happened in the in the uh, uh, the Ivory Coast, where the French army attacked the Christian territory and more than 4,000 Christians burned alive and the French army protecting the terrorist. When there is an election in your country, if you really care for your country, go and vote. And when you vote, don't vote based on an article somebody said. And don't vote based on a news agency saying this guy is good. Go check who he is. Check what he's what he said in previous statement. He stand with what against what, and if he really mean what he say, if he prove it or not. Don't go by news agencies. They lie. Ninety nine percent of their true lies are lies, which means it's a it's a it's a true news somehow. Like I say, yesterday there was an earthquake. In Indonesia, and then the news they say to you, more than two thousand people get killed. <laughs> Maybe it is five hundred. They exaggerate in numbers in purpose to make you interested to read. They make articles about how important to drink tea. Why? Because the tea company paid them, and then they bring you expert hired by the coffee companies, and he start teaching you how bad it is to drink tea. And it is the best to drink coffee. People who drink coffee, they live longer. Second day, they bring you someone who teach you in the same news agencies that if you drink coffee, you die faster. And the poor you believe whatever they say to you and you buy it. When this, uh, I don't know how many of you watch this uh, judge who is going to be in the Supreme Court. This judge was accused by few women that he did something wrong. Now, regardless if this is true or not, this judge, he go on TV and he cry. Okay. Suddenly, Americans are with him. Just because he cry, what's wrong with you? Emotional people. What if he is really a rapist? You see, I want a conservative judge to be in the office. I want. But I don't want a rapist. What if he is? So just because he cried, we believe him? Okay, let us make an additional uh, investigation and see. Let us make it more clear. That's a good idea. But they, they are emotional. You know, they don't want to use, the, like, the media, both sides, the Republican and the Democrat, both sides are under the influence of the filthy media. The, 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 the Democrat, they have tons of people who they are poisoning the mind of those 
young ones in New York in California that this guy is a rapist how you know I mean by law anyone is innocent until you prove him guilty well you were judging the guy that's it he became a rapist a woman who came after 36 years to say that he tried to rape her but she don't remember where she didn't remember who was there she gave four names nobody remembered the incident nobody even was there i mean what's wrong with you i am afraid that a woman she will say one day that a christian prince he did touch my ass in the 16th centuries what's wrong with those people don't be emotional don't be stupid in the same time investigate and see where is the truth what this woman is about obviously she's mental this is stupid woman she spoke in front of her friends that when she was she when this guy he was 16 17 he tried to sleep with her and she ran away from the room or he tried to rape her to make it more accurate but obviously she never thought this news will became big obviously she is lying she is looking for some attention and then they start and they contacted senators and then senators start quoting you know calling her from the democrat we want you to accuse him oops she was talking to friends in the spa box suddenly became all the way up to senators and congressmen and cia and fbi you know stupid lie became so big but both sides are emotional People they support him because he cry, and people they against him because they heard in the news that he did that. But nobody want uh, nobody is looking for the truth. Look at the fact of this woman; she's stupid. Have you ever heard of a woman? She don't remember when the rape happened, or he tried to rape her. He don't remember even the place. She don't remember who took her to the place. She don't remember who took her back from the place. But she remember that she took. Uh, bills after that and she drank a beer she remembered the beer i mean have you ever heard of a such stupid story like this which is more important i remember i drank a beer 36 years ago but i cannot remember where this guy tried to rape her <laughs> madness And this is my advice to all the men don't sit with the women alone my friend things became scary 40 years from now one of them she will accuse you that you touch her uh, shoes maybe don't go in the elevator alone with the women take what you like hire somebody pay him money to go with you in the elevator run your camera when you go in the elevator open your phone camera she is talking to you put the camera in front of her face because she might accuse you of something you never know i mean the world became scary This is crazy. Anyone want to be famous? He accused a, a famous person that he slept with. There was a guy who made a video that he slept with Obama, and Obama, he took him in the ride. He want to sleep with him. It's in YouTube. <laughs> Another video, you know, they are saying that Michelle Obama is a is a is a guy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, welcome to America. Anyway, we should be more intelligent, and we should not let people direct us and fool us. Enough is enough. You can go against someone you don't believe in what he do. You can go be against Obama, but don't create lies about him. Like when I say Obama is a Muslim, I'm not lying. Obama himself, he said that in TV. He, when he said my Muslim faith, you can go and search it. Why? What is the chance of a person to make a mistake about his religion? Why he said my Muslim faith? Why, what is that? I mean, how this mistake can happen? Obviously, it's not a mistake. It was an honest answer. Why he did not say my Hindu mistake, my Hindu uh, faith? What he he heard only about Islam, <laughs> you know? So don't 
if you you are against somebody you don't like what he do etc just be honest don't fabricate lies just to take him down because lies will take you down too and always those who sponsor lies things go against them it doesn't go really well lies never save anyone a week from now the FBI they will finish their investigation and imagine how shameful it's going to be for all those who made this propaganda against this guy if the FBI they come with decision that this guy he have nothing to do with any of this and not only that those who accuse him they will be in trouble because then he have the right to sue them back for public humiliation and accusation and lies etc you know that's a crime Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you today, and I hope the leaders we have in our countries, they will be smarter, and they will be wiser, and they will not be evil. It doesn't matter what country. I don't really like to see an evil president in Iran. I don't want to go in war with Iran. But the evil government of Iran, somebody have to stop it from doing evil. You being against war doesn't mean you let the evil grow. Somebody have to cut the tree of evil. Somebody have to do the dirty job. It's a shame that European countries, they are partners in bed with the Iranian regime. After all the killing, just today, they execute a woman. She was raped. She was raped. And she was the one who was executed. Obviously, the one who raped her, he was important figure from the Iranian government. So they cannot execute him, they execute the victim. Protex is very ugly. But what is more ugly that you be you know being naive and educated. When somebody says to you, we should go and we should be an enemy to the Russian, ask yourself, why are you being an enemy to the Russian? What, what is between me and the Russian? Seriously. Why we American, we should be enemy with the Russian? For the benefit of who? I mean, isn't it enough we are fighting hundreds of millions of terrorists? You know, some stupid smart Democrat, he said one day, that only 10% of the Muslim believe sponsor terrorism. Only 10%. CNN said, and this is CNN news, which I don't believe in it, but anyway, they said that the Muslims today is 1.7 billion. Based on the CNN study, that means there's 170 million terrorists. All of them, they wish the destruction of America. And not only they wish, they would love to work for it. And you are busy with the Russian? How stupid that is. This is the whole point. They want to divert your attention from the real enemy. This is what General John McCain was doing. And those people, they have always an agenda of big corporation. There's a huge corporation who own weapon, make weapon. They find Russia a very, very offensive threat for their businesses. So forcing the president to put sanctions more and more in Russia, that will make them stay in the market. But people think that the sanctions in Russia because Russia is doing wrong. But the fact is not about Russia doing wrong or right. Whatever the Russian they will do, they will try their best to put sanction in Russia because they became a major competition in the weapon market. Do you understand me? The Saudi Arabia, for the first time in history, they are buying Russian weapon. The Kuwaiti, the Emirati, the Bahraini, the Qatari. Go and see. All those who they are our puppet in the Middle East, suddenly they are buying and signing big deals with the Russian. And they are signing big deals with the Russian not only because they want the Russian weapon, they want the Russian protection. They notice and now they learn that Russia is someone we can trust, not like the American. 
the Russian they stood with their friend the Assad regime in Syria for real seven seven years standing by and four years in real war they send their troops in the ground and they are the one who brought victory for him Mr. Karith, when he say when when a Muslim he say inshallah he will call me, it's mean he will never do it. And I will tell you with my experience. In the Middle East, they say inshallah tomorrow we will fix electricity. But we never have electricity. Inshallah tomorrow we will fix the water, but we never have water. Inshallah tomorrow we will fix the road, but we never have roads. Inshallah tomorrow we will be the school, but we never have school. This is all the Middle Eastern countries, Islamic countries goes by inshallah. Because Allah is not exist and He will never will anything. Inshallah means Allah is willing, but Allah never will anything. So His people. This is why all the Middle East are corrupt and they never go anywhere. Go, you cross, you cross the street between Israel and Gaza. You find yourself as going to a different galaxy. Why? Because the Jews they, say, they don't say Inshallah, they do it. The people in the cross the street in the Arab side they say inshallah, which means they will never be done. They are waiting for Allah to do it for them. Inshallah, tomorrow we will feed you. The stupid United Nations organization. Yesterday they release from the job, they fire many employees in Gaza. The United Nations was sponsoring Gaza for more than 60 years. They feed them, they give them free bread, free food, free meat, free school, free, 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 the UNRWA. Today, the UNRWA, they had to shut down many of their offices because they are out of money. And look what happened. Immediately, United Nations, they would draw all their employees because they are feared that they will be kidnapped and be slaughtered. I mean, do you see how peaceful those people are? Just because you fire their employees there, they will kill the rest? Hypocrisy and stupidity. You are feeding them for the last 70 years, and the day you let them go, they will kill you? Yeah. You are feeding a beast who will never appreciate what you give. I remember a story of an American soldier in Afghanistan he have uh, sandwiches, you know, in the, in the truck. And there is always a woman, Afghani women, poor women, begging for food, for money, anything. So the guy, he gave her a sandwich. He gave her a sandwich in his hand, you know. They stopped the car. He gave her the, the, the truck. He gave her a sandwich. And she starts speaking in the, in the Afghan. And supposedly he do not know what she is saying. But he understand Afghani language. She was cursing him. May Allah kill you, kafir. She just took his sandwich. He just gave her the sandwich. And she is praying to her God to kill him. And this is how the case of the American. They think in Afghanistan they will build democracy. They take your money and they curse you every day. They think that the Turkish, they appreciate your assistant. How, how, many, how many billion dollars America gave every year to Turkey? They curse us every day, stupid American. Do you need their bases in there? No, we do not need them. Erdogan will never be your friend, and he is not your friend. Everyone knows. He's your enemy. So why are you paying them? Stupid. Trump is smart somewhere. He's stupid somewhere. Doesn't make sense. Why you are paying them money? European Union. Turkey right now is exist as a government of Erdogan because of the stupid European Union. Billions of dollars, especially from Germany. When you read and you see the news, you feel sick. And what make it, make it more sick is how stupid and who is the one in charge. European people, they choose the most stupid, perverted-minded people to be in the office. Everything is upside down. Any disaster will happen. And then they will say to you, Islamophobia. 
as I said last time, when I was in France, five soldiers in the right side of the street, five soldiers in the left side of the street. Is that because you have a phobia, French people? Or because you're afraid of Muslims? Be honest. You're afraid of who exactly? Why you have soldiers in the street? Be honest. Phobia. Anyone who attack Islam, they accuse him of phobia. So why you have soldiers in the street with guns? If it's a phobia. The government of France who keep talking about phobia. Why people, why today you arrested many, many terrorists in France? 200 policemen, they run and they ride many houses in France and they arrested many. Is that a phobia? Who is the one have a phobia? Inshallah, mean God willing, who is the stupid dad who told you that? Give me his name. Who is the donkey who told you that? Inshallah, mean God is willing. Are you sure you are a Muslim? Ah, you are a Muslim by name. You have no idea what you are talking about. When a Muslim he say, Inshallah, he is saying, Allah may be willing, maybe, not God. For Allah is a name, not a word mean God. I mean, I saw even a, a Christian guy who claimed to be a person who knows about Islam. He says, uh, "God, uh, Allah Akbar means God is bigger or God is great. I mean, stupid people. Sometimes you, you, you don't know. I mean, you want to you wanna correct everybody. In churches, they say to you, Muhammad from Ishmael. And we say, keep saying, Muhammad is not from Ishmael. How he became from Ishmael? How you teach that in the churches? They keep saying that. We tell the Christian that the Muslim believe in genie. A Christian, he thinks this is demon. We told you that these demons are not genie. They are not the same. We and Muslims, we don't share anything. The Muslim believe in Isa. We don't believe in Isa. The word adultery in Islam is not the same adultery in Christianity. The word theft in Islam is not the same as in Christianity. A Muslim, he can steal money from non-Muslim. In Christianity, we don't believe in such a garbage. Theft is a theft. It doesn't matter. You steal steal from who? Masha Allah. It's like you are saying, uh, whatever Allah will actually. But usually, it's used to say, it's used to to express your uh, your wonder about the will of Allah. But Allah never did anything. You know. You see, the I don't want to go to the Quran, but just to remind you. The Muslim they say that the Quran said that Allah if he wants something he say be is going to be and I challenge the Muslim to show me one thing Allah he said to it be and it was even from their books it took Allah long day to finish Adam Friday and even Adam he said to Allah finish me before the sun set man Adam himself he was worried because Allah is so slow so when the Muslim they say by Allah will, it's very funny what Allah will, because even the Quran says that Allah He created everything by His hands, and they take it not metaphorically, literally. Allah have two hands and both of them in the right side. All right. Yeah, and even Muhammad He taught them that Allah hands, the both hands of Allah. All right, as you know, you remember, you forgot. This is the only God who have two hands in the right side of his shoulder. I'm glad I'm not Allah. I mean, this will be a disaster. You go to the kitchen, you have two hands in one side. This is the hadith here. Let us see. <clears throat> Do you see the hadith? And both of his hands are right hands. And the funny, the Muslim, they believe, they say to you, why you worship a man? <laughs> but they don't, they don't know, idiots. They don't know that their God is a physical being and he has five fingers in every hand. And he have two eyes in the front of his face. 
So what he is You have a foot you have a leg you have a shin you have an ass You have two hands on the right side by the way uh, Muslims is, uh, is he have two foot in the right side too That will make him like like look like Charlie Chaplin. I Don't know. I mean that's that's weird But thank thank God. I'm not Allah And look how the stupid idea you see because Muhammad is an is an idiot when he said that Allah hands both of them they are right because he learned he, and he taught his people that the left hand is the hand of the devil so how Allah can have a hand of a devil in a way so we have to come with a solution what is that we make Allah have two hands in the right have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this and then the Muslim, you speak to a Muslim, he will say to you, Allah is not a man. So what he is? Should I draw Allah for you? A guy have two hands in the right shoulder. He have two eyes. He have lips. He have mouth. He have teeth. He have two ears. Huh? And he have an ass. Okay, you tell me what is that? Giraffe, monkey, chimpanzee. What is what he is? He's not a man. Okay, I got it. I got it. He's not a man. And my friend, the only one have a phobia is the Muslims. You are the one who is scared if you touch pork. You are the one who's scared, so you curse us every day in the morning, five times a day. You are the one who is scared, you get offended from anything. Who is the one who have a phobia? You are the one who believe that Jewish are pigs. You are not only have a phobia, you have you are a fascist. You believe that you are the best man for mankind. Who are the Muslims? Who is the one have a phobia? It's you. Even you have a phobia regarding your ass. Your prophet, he told you, if you enter the bathroom without saying a prayer, shaitan will enter into your anus and he will play with it and he will put a screwdriver inside it. Who is the one have a phobia? Shaitan targeting your penis. If you don't say the prayer to Allah before you have intercourse with your wife, Shaitan will wrap himself like a candom around your penis and he will be doing your wife. Who have a phobia? It's you. Phobia about your anus, phobia about your penis, phobia about your belly bum. Why do you have a belly bum according to Muhammad? Because Shaitan touched you there. Your religion is religion of phobia. Muhammad, he said, if you sneeze, cover your, your, your mouth. Anyone knows? Anyone knows why if a Muslim sneezes, he has to cover his mouth? Because shaitan, sorry, not sneeze, if he yawn. If you if you yawn, shaitan, you, you have to cover your mouth. The Muslim, they made an article saying this is very healthy. It's discovered by science that this, this is not about science, you idiot, because Muhammad, he says, shaitan will piss in your mouth. You see how they make a lie, make it look science? They say to you, when you when you yawn, it, it, there's a liquid come from your mouth out and will spread diseases. But this is not the reason Muhammad he spoke of. Muhammad, he said that shaitan piss in your mouth. Muhammad he said to the Muslims when you woke up in the morning you have to to, to blow your nose three times why because shaitan he sleep in your nose who is the one have a phobia a Muslim during his lifetime he believed that he is under the conspiracy of everybody shaitan will play with your anus shaitan will play with your penis shaitan will sleep with your wife shaitan will make there, there is a story if you have my book six and Allah how many of you have it Sex and Allah. If you don't have it, go to Amazon, search for my books. Just type Christian Prince, you will see the rest of my books. A Muslim, he swear by Allah that he entered the bedroom and he found his wife's vagina in fire. And this lie is to prove what? What he's trying to prove by swearing by Allah. To prove, and he is from support, support the Sahaba or like the, 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 the Salafi, the old, the old the generation of Muhammad time. To prove that genies it is true they sleep with women muslim women genie they sleep with muslim women conspiracy so now you are married and your wife sleeping with the devil and now this guy swear by allah he entered into his bedroom and he found the, the vagina of his uh, wife the hair in fire and why it's in fire because remember genie is made from fire that makes sense <laughs> imagine you enter the bedroom your wife is naked and her vagina is in fire 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 and smoke is coming her bushes is, is in fire and why did he want to prove that shaitan slept with his wife and you are talking about phobia you are the one who have a phobia everything in your cult is a phobia 
When a Muslim he pray, anyone remember the hadith? When a Muslim pray, shaitan he take hair from his anus. Do you remember it? Conspiracy against your anus. Now, this is a decent Muslim. He want to pray to Allah. He bend down. Shaitan, he come from his back. He put his foot after he hold his hand with the hair of his anus and he pull out like, eh, eh, you know, until he take it out and then he cause you to fart. Who is the one have a phobia? Your religion is religion of stupidity and phobia. You believe in all this garbage. If I want to count for you, I, I will spend the coming two or three weeks just counting stupid things for you. Where are you, Mr. Abdul? The one who's talking about phobia. Suddenly he's so quiet. You have a phobia to the point you change the, the look of your God. Your God now, Allah, he have two hands in the right side. This is because of a phobia. Because the phobia is that you the right, the left hand is dirty. So there is no way we can make Allah have left hand phobia. So now we make Allah have two hands and both of them, they are in the right side. And you are talking about phobia, my friend. It's very funny when a donkey he put tons of makeup over the face of his God and he think because he put too much makeup that will make us believe that he is God. If you see the description of Allah based on Muslim description and Muhammad, you will find that he looked close to this guy. Obviously, this guy is not a man. He is something else. There's flowers growing in his head. His hair is weird. Who is the one have a phobia? They change the description of their God, but they made them look really funny and really stupid. And uh, God is not a man. Yeah, they, they quote for you a verse from the Bible says, God is not a man. The Bible says, God is not a man who lie. And who said that God is a man? The Christian don't believe that God is a man. The Christian don't believe that God is a man. God is God. Man is a man. But can God appear to us as a man? Yes, he can. For he's God. Why we call him almighty? If he is almighty, but he cannot do certain things, that means he is not almighty. He's all potato. When you call someone almighty, it means he have a mighty power. There's nothing for him is limited. He can do anything he wish. So if you say to me that God, he cannot come to us as a man, that means he cannot be God. The second you say he cannot, you stripped him from the title of almighty. Jesus said, before Abraham I am. He, how he was exist before Abraham. The Bible explained in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God. His birth have nothing to do with his existence. The stupid Muslim they say to you, okay, you believe in the Trinity. Before Jesus was born, where was the Trinity? Supposedly now a Muslim is squeezing his ass like he's getting smarter, you know? Like he put the makeup, he looked in the mirror, he found himself looked so beautiful, pretty. Huh? And now, okay, Jesus, where was Jesus? Where is the Trinity? Here we go, Jesus was not born. Like Jesus said before Abraham, I am. So his birth had nothing to do with his existence. And even he said, and Abraham, he saw my day. The Jews, they said to him, how, how Abraham, he saw your day and you are not even 50 years old. What are you talking about? How he saw your day, how he witnessed your day. Abraham, he saw you. How, how Abraham, Abraham is the grandfather of all the Jews, the, the whole nation. Jesus saying, Abraham, he, he witnessed my day. And the Jews, they said, 
how Abraham he saw you and you're not even 50 years old the problem that Muslims they are copy paste and the second you squeeze them they break they are made in China actually not even in China I don't know where are they, they are made on but obviously the make is very bad you see Islam is very strong as long they are allowed to ask you a question and you are not allowed to answer are you do you, do you know what I mean in Islamic countries a Muslim he start attacking you and you are a Christian but you don't dare to say anything because the second you say to respond they will kill you they are waiting for it they will say he insulted the Prophet the same as they do always in Pakistan so the Muslim they learned that the Christian don't answer obviously because they don't answer because they have no answer that this is not true if we answer you will be destroyed and here we go I'm here who there who there anyway I hope today we cover many issues and today we spoke about politics uh, I know not many of you like to speak about politics but sometimes I have to and you don't uh, have to agree with me about what I say but I say things as it is I don't really care who like it who don't like it I say what I believe and this is I think actually uh, one of the good things I, I, I am proud about it about myself I don't take a side and that actually sometimes make me uh, you know uh, like face problems with people because people who support me like now people who like Trump maybe I said something negative about Trump they will be upset you know they will not like it uh, I say things as it is and really I am not willing to com willing to compromise what I believe if I believe that this is wrong I will say to you it's wrong not necessarily I'm right but I say what I believe all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here today with me uh, feel free to share the video download it and all my videos and by the way soon I'm going to make a clean up in my uh, channel for the videos there so please download them and share them all over before I take them and make them private all right and the reason I make them private because I wanted people to download them and take them it's not to say it's a way to make them do it people are lazy they don't want to do any work don't be the same as the Muslims they are a nation of inshallah inshallah we have an army to fight the kuffar but the army will never be happen and will never exist and Trump now is trying to create a NATO in the Gulf Arab NATO under the command of USA Trump keep dreaming those are Arab Muslims they never be united and they cannot be united they always betray each other I never saw a Muslim country a Muslim nation don't betray each other as much as they do I mean unbelievable from the time of Muhammad until now who is the one who killed Uthman ibn Affan the, the, the caliphate of Islam the one the founder of the Quran after Muhammad the Muslims who is the one who killed the one after him the Muslims the one after him the Muslims the one after him the Muslim the one every caliphate was killed by Muslims those are Muslims and you and and, and Trump you want to make them united together Keep dreaming. The kingdom of Satan will not be united. And that because God don't want the evil to be strong. The true God. They will be divided forever. Fighting each other. And you count on my word and be my witness and you will see you will never see them united who is the one against turkey egypt who is who else saudi arabia who else Emirat? who is against qatar saudi arabia who else Emirat? egypt all of them they are parties always parties against they bite each other they kill each other who is killing who who is killing who in libya who is killing who in iraq who is killing who in Egypt, who is killing who in Saudi Arabia? Muslims, 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 Muslims. Who is fighting who in Pakistan? Muslims. Muslims. This is a religion of war. 
it's a curse on the one who follow it the second you follow this religion you are under that curse the first thing will happen when you convert to this religion you lose your peace with yourself within yourself within your house you became a person of evil and you like to go for war and bloodshed your prayer became a prayer of hate you don't pray for love christian you go to church they pray god forgive them love them we pray for everybody including muslims muslim cannot do that they have to pray for the death of the kuffar they have to pray for the death of the hindus the buddhas the atheists the gays the lesbian they have to pray for the death of everybody a few years ago there was a tsunami in indonesia but the news came that there was a beach full of foreigners and tsunami hit and the muslim they opened a chat room cheering the victory of allah and even they post in google an image of the wave have the look of Allah to prove to you that Allah is punishing the kuffar. Big chat room in Paltok celebrating, praying songs in Islam, Mujahideen. Allahu Akbar, brother. Allahu Akbar. More than 300,000 get killed. The only one chair for death of people like this is, is Islam. Then a few hours after, the news came that 99% of those people who killed are Muslims. Look how hypocrite they are. They were cheering a second ago for the death of everybody. Now they listen, they get the news that the majority who the one who died was Muslims. Same as yesterday. They are posting in the news, in the Islamic news, that there's 34 Christians were killed under the, the uh, a church, a church destroyed by the earthquake. And it says that God of the Christian did not help them. But the majority of those who die, 34 Christians die. There's more than a thousand Muslim die. So the 34 Christians who die, their God did not protect them. And the 1,000 Muslim who die, their God protect them, including the mosque who destroyed. Same as in 9-11, they dance in the street celebrating death. This is a this is a very ugly cult. This is why I advise Muslim to leave it. If you want to really have peace in your life, if you want to be happy in your life, leave this cult. It's ugly, it's disgusting. There's no peace in it, and you lose everything within this cult. If I open for you guys, I, I honest to God, I wish that you guys you speak Arabic. If you watch in YouTube what the Muslims they say against each other in YouTube, you will die from laughing. If you open a Jazeera to see what the Jazeera say about Saudi Arabia, you will die from laughing. What the Saudi they say about Qatar, they, you will you will go crazy. I mean, those people they have no dignity and they have no honor. Everything in the laundry is outside. That is Islam. This is why in the hadith we see Aisha. Aisha, she is one of them. Aisha, when she say, the prophet, when his wife, she have she is with him in itikaf in the time of a prayer, and she noticed that some drop of a blood, yellowish blood dropping from her vagina. I'm trying to be polite to say the word vagina, but it's not vagina, it's different. You know, the word start with P. So it started dropping from his from her pee, and she put a tray under her pee. I mean, laundry. That's laundry. Everything is a laundry. Why the wife of the prophet is telling the public about a drop of a blood, yellowish blood, coming from the vagina of his wife? For what is that for the benefit of who? This is the news for who? Laundry. It's a savage religion, savage prophet, savage teaching. They have no shame and obviously the wife of the prophet at that time she have an infection she have std why why the blood coming from her vagina is yellowish any, any muslim can explain to me why why the blood is yellowish this is you can search on the internet yellowish blood is because infection actually i searched it myself to find out I, you know i don't know about women period but it was it, it took my attention to 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 know why it's yellowish I mean, why it's why it's yellowish? Is it normal for women to have yellowish 
period? No. Laundry religion. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I hope I did not scare you with this picture in the in the screen. And don't believe yourself if you put too much too much makeup that you are the person in that image. Makeup will not change you. You are who you are. And this is what the world tried to do to you. They put a lot of makeup in their news, try to make it look different, sound different, mean different. But in fact, it is not what they say, and the makeup will not change the fact, no matter what they try. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. God is willing. Bye-bye. Take care.